Hey, what's up, everyone? It is TechWares, and today is October 14th, 2024. And I want to show you the trinity of extensions that you should be using to get a better experience on YouTube. All right, so the, the trinity of the best extensions to use for YouTube to give you a better experience while you're browsing YouTube. Now, I want to start off by saying I don't use Chrome. I don't use Edge. I don't use you know Google Chrome, uh, Microsoft Edge, Windows Edge. I don't use any other browser except a Firefox-based browser. Now, Firefox-based browser means um, the, fire, the, the browser is it's based on Mozilla Firefox. Uh, you can now you can use Firefox. That's fine. However, I personally, I use a browser called Florp. I know it's a silly, it's a silly name. Um, however, this is Florp is um, it's from Japan. Uh, it is a Firefox based browser, like I said. Um, so I highly recommend it, and that's just what I use. All right. Uh, it's just my preference now. The second browser I, I would recommend, which I also use as a backup, it's called Libra Wolf. It's also a, a Firefox-based browser. Now, I just want to get that out the way. So, the Trinity, that means the three best browsers to give you a great YouTube experience or a great experience on YouTube. The first one is Return YouTube Dislike. Basically, what this does is that it returns the ability to see dislikes. It also gives you the ability to uh, dislike videos. You know, YouTube did take away that feature. All right. However, this extension brings it back. All right. So that's all it does. All right. Return YouTube dislikes to browser extension and an API that shows you dislikes on YouTube. All right. Really easy to install, of course, just it's on the Firefox extension store. All right, so that is my personal uh, third, uh, third best. Now, let's get to the second best sponsor block for YouTube. It skips sponsorships. I'm pretty sure most of you, or pretty much all of you, I mean, if you watch you a lot of YouTube, you've come across a video where, um, they do show a, a sponsor segment in that in that video, right? So what this does, it skips uh, those segments, just so you can get straight to the point, straight to the content. <clears throat> All right. Now this is community driven. That means it's not going to be on every single video on YouTube that has a sponsor segment. If somebody reports it, if somebody watches that video and they're they're using this extension sponsor block, and they can report that segment. And it goes to an API. So it's community driven. All right. You can also re report your own uh, segments so everyone else can uh, get that data and skip them. All right. So YouTube sponsor block. All right. It's essential, in my opinion. I don't like those sponsor segments. I really don't care for them. It's not like I'm going to ever support those sponsors. I just don't care. I just want to watch the video, skip to that content, and sponsor block is the second best. All right, uh, extension. As you can see, there are currently 13 million users, over 13 million users, who have submitted over 13 million skip segments. All right, which have saved a total of 500. Uh, sorry, 5,571 years and this many uh, 224 days of people's lives. All right, so that's awesome. Now, the number one and the best extension, honestly, without the, without this extension, YouTube and, and the entire internet would just be unusable for me. And that is uBlock Origin. All right. uBlock Origin is not an ad blocker. It's a wide spectrum content blocker with CPU and memory efficiency as a primary feature. So, yeah. It is not just an ad blocker, all right? It is a wide spectrum content blocker, all right? I cannot 
live without new block origin. All right, if it goes away, I don't know what I will do. I probably wouldn't even watch that much YouTube. I probably wouldn't even browse the internet as much as I do now. All right, so you block origin, it is honestly not just essential for the YouTube, it is essential for the internet. All right, to browse the internet, you need you block origin. Thankfully, it is available for Chromium and Firefox based browsers. All right, now I'm gonna add just like a few optional uh, extensions. I don't really use them myself, I don't personally use them myself, however. I can see how some people out there would be interested in them. And that one, the this one, the first one would be the Aero, right? The Aero is an open source browser extension uh, for crowdsourcing, all right? Better titles and thumbnails on YouTube. So as you can see, these are all thumbnails and clickbait titles and everything, clickbait thumbnails, clickbait titles, and it just removes them from, you know, they just remove them and you can see an actual thumbnail from the video. All right. So uh, the goal is to make titles accurate and reduce sense uh, sensationalism. No more arrows, ridiculous faces, and no more clickbait. So that's what D arrow does. All right. And over here they say clickbait isn't the exception anymore. It is becoming the norm. Many have even started going through their entire backlog, changing old titles and thumbnails to be more attention grabbing and big. Right? It's no one's fault. It's a system that creates a race to the bottom. The arrow hopes to stop the cycle. It's time to return to a more peaceful experience. So that's what the arrow does. All right. The second one, it's just called hide, hide YouTube, YouTube shorts. All right. And this just hides shorts videos from your homepage, subscriptions, and search results. Not many people go on YouTube for the shorts. All right. So this is what it does. Before your homepage will look like this. As you can see, there are a bunch of shorts here, and, and then it just removes them. All right. That's what this extension does. I personally don't care about shorts. I mean, if they're there, and if they seem interesting to me, I might click on one of them. So me personally. I don't use hide YouTube shorts and also don't I, I also don't use the arrow because you know honestly for me it doesn't really bother me um, clickbait and things like that don't bother me however to some people um, I can see how they would be interested in these two extensions so that's it guys uh, return YouTube dislike button all right sponsor block uh, uBlock origin that is the three trinity of uh, extensions that are give you an, an amazing uh, youtube experience and the two optional ones the arrow and hide youtube shorts now all the, all of these extensions are available for firefox based browsers all right uh if you're on chrome i'm pretty sure the popular ones are i think sponsor block is you block origin is you uh, return youtube dislike a button is also available on there so thank you guys for listening thank you guys for watching and um let me know in the comments if you'd like if you have any questions or if you'd like me to show more extensions not just for youtube but uh just to give you a great internet browsing experience thank you guys for listening thank you guys for watching it is tech wears take care peace